Good day. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Douglas Harder, and in this topic, we're going to describe the differences between two-dimensional vectors and complex numbers. So, in this topic, we will observe the superficial relationship between 2D vectors and complex numbers. However, we will then delve into looking at the significant differences. We have described two-dimensional vectors, shown here on the left, and complex numbers, shown here on the right in the complex plane. Now, looking at these two vectors, u and v, and complex numbers, w and z, you may notice that there is a superficial relationship between these two points. Both of these are the same, quote, point, unquote, on the plane. Similar with V and Z, these two points in the plane seem to occupy the same location. So the question is, why do we use one versus the other? Now, for a vector, each entry represents a separate piece of independent information. A complex number, on the other hand, is a single value. It is no different than a real number, and if you start taking either the real or imaginary components, you no longer have the original number. For a vector, we're not going to have a useful definition of multiplication that works not only in R2, but also in R to the N. On the other hand, multiplication of complex numbers is well defined and has significant has a significance that is applicable in a number of different areas. Now, for a vector, there is no real significance to the vector 1, 0. Yes, it's a unit vector, but beyond that, it's not significantly different from 0, 1. For complex numbers, however, the analogous value, which is just 1 plus 0j, that is the value such that 1 times z is equal to z for all z, and every non-zero complex number, z, has a reciprocal such that z times z inverse is equal to 1. Now, recall that the vector u, 7.6, negative 8.2, does represent a point in the plane. Yet there's no real reason or real significance between this point and the point v, which is equal to 0 0.0608 and 0 0.0656. However, you may note that the product of the two corresponding complex numbers is indeed equal to exactly 1. The question is, what are we modeling? There are only very limited numbers of applications of complex numbers, but for those applications, complex numbers are ideal. For example, in finding solutions to differential equations, Simulating sinusoidal functions with equal period, specifically alternating current. However, this can also simulate, for example, motions in an engine. Finally, quantum mechanics. And this is what you will see in your second year course. On the other hand, two dimensionals are much more ubiquitous. Basically, a two-dimensional vector is just ordered information. Now, just as a historical comment, as you may be interested, uh, vectors only came to prominence in the 1800s, late 1800s, actually. Prior to that, uh, William Hamilton actually introduced something called quaternions, and quaternions had four components. So they were a generalization of complex numbers. 
However, they had a problem. For a multiplication to be defined on quaternions, it ends up that the resulting multiplication is not even commutative. So multiplying a quaternion Q times a quaternion P may not give you the same value as multiplying P by U. Now, quaternions do still have applications today in graphics, but that seems to be about the one limited application thereof. There is actually an eight-dimensional number system called the octonians, but for that, the multiplication you end up is not even associative. So you actually have to worry about, are you multiplying A by B first and then multiplying by C, or are you multiplying B by C first and then multiplying the result by A? So not very useful or applicable. Another point is you simply cannot create a multiplication that is reasonably well-defined, for example, where there's existence of reciprocals for anything other than powers of two. So there really is nothing analogous to R3 with respect to numbering systems such as the quaternions or complex numbers. So yes, Vectors are much more general, as vectors are well-defined for all dimensions from 1 up to however large you require. So, following this topic, you now understand two-dimensional vectors and complex numbers do indeed represent separate ideas. You know that the first has two components, while the second is a single value. And you understand that for vectors, there is no significance to the reciprocal of their corresponding complex values. Here's the references, acknowledgements, colophon, and a disclaimer. Cheers!